Hi everyone, it's your sister in Christ Jesus, Kish Kim here with a message from the Lord. This morning I was praying and I was reading my word and um, the Lord dropped something in my spirit this morning and I literally could not wait to release the message, but the Lord has a purpose for his timing. And of course, I had to wait on the Lord's timing to give this message. But um, I wrote a lot of stuff down, okay? So the message for today, or the title of this word is suddenly. Suddenly. I'm going to talk about a few scriptures, but first let's get started on the background of suddenly. So the word suddenly is written in the Bible approximately 87 times, 87 times. So to me, that denotes the significance of the word, right? 87 times this word is written in the Bible. So it's significant, right? So The word that I got today was God is the God of suddenly. I, says the Lord, am the God of suddenly. So let's talk about our first uh, word, Acts 9, right? I don't know if you know about the story of Paul. Before Paul was converted to Christianity, he, his name was Paul. Saul. And he actually persecuted Christians and he did it in the name of God. He didn't believe in Jesus as the Messiah. He only believed in God and he believed that Christians needed to be wiped out, right? In essence. And he did everything he could to persecute them, right? So he was journeying on his way to Damascus And all of a sudden, I wrote this down, suddenly in Acts 9, a light flashed around him. He fell to the ground and he heard a voice say, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And the voice that he heard was the voice of God. Jesus was speaking to Saul. Jesus was speaking to him. And although he knew the answer, he was giving Saul, who would later become Paul, a personal encounter of who he was. So he wouldn't have to hear it secondhand from anyone else. He had a personal encounter with our Lord and Savior Jesus on his road, on the road to Damascus. And suddenly, And suddenly his life changed. One day he was persecuting Christians and the next day he was becoming a convert to Christianity. He was subsequently blinded on this road and I believe it was for a number of days until he had this personal encounter with our Lord and Savior that changed his life. And then God, because he is so good and so faithful, allowed one of his servants who was actually reluctant because he knew of Saul and what he did to Christians. He didn't, he was a, he was a, a fearful uh, of what Paul could do to him. I keep going back and forth, but Saul and Paul are the same person. Um, He was reluctant, but nonetheless, he obeys God. So he went and he healed Saul, who later became Paul, in the name of Jesus. And Paul received his sight. And suddenly, and suddenly, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and suddenly, I keep saying this over and over again, because I need to hear it. The Lord is ministering to me through this personal word. And the Holy Spirit is ministering to you through this personal word. And suddenly, right? So in Second Peter, oh, let's go back to uh, Paul. Paul went on <laughs> to be completely faithful to God, right? Even writing most of the New Testament, right? 
What a blessing it is. And all he needed was and suddenly, right? And suddenly. So let's go to 2 Peter 3, 8. One day is as a thousand years to the Lord. So are you waiting on the Lord for something that He, you know without a shadow of a doubt he promised you? Are you waiting on the promises of God? I don't know about you, but I'm waiting on the promises of God. I'm waiting for breakthrough for my mother in the area of her healing. I'm waiting for her to receive the care that she needs. I'm waiting on a breakthrough in my finances. I'm waiting on a breakthrough in my career, in my relationship, and my family. I'm waiting on promises that I know that the Lord has made me. Are you? Are you a busybody? Sometimes like me, where you're trying to take the bull by the horn and do the work of the Lord you're on your own and in your own strength because you're too impatient to wait for the Lord to give you the next set of instructions. And you think that you need to move mountains to get the work of the Lord done. Are you um, doing things out of the timing and the will of God? I don't know about you, but I've tried. And when I've earnestly repented and prayed, the Lord has stopped it. He's closed doors that were not meant to be open, at least at the time. My brothers and sisters in Christ, God is faithful. God is faithful. I don't know how many times I will say that God is faithful. If you need a reminder of how God is faithful, just look back on the last time he was faithful to you and on the time before that when he was faithful to you. And if you need any more times of him being faithful, open your word. You should be doing that on a daily basis. Open your word. There's a ton of illustrations in the Bible where God was faithful. All we need is a suddenly Suddenly, that's all we need is a suddenly. My brothers and sisters in Christ, when suddenly comes, that's when your breakthrough will be here. See, your suddenly needs to manifest in the physical. Your suddenly was already done in the spirit. When God made a promise to you, it was already done in the spirit. We're just waiting for it to show up in the physical if that makes sense. And all you need is a suddenly. Okay. So Isaiah 60, 22 says, when the time is right, I, the Lord will make it happen. When the time is right, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord will make it happen. You're not going to make it happen. You relying on someone else is not going to make it happen. You doing religious rituals is not going to make it happen. God is going to make it happen. Just like he did for Saul when he was persecuting Christians, right? He had his road to Damascus experience where and suddenly he was converted to Christianity because he had a personal encounter with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't be fearful. Don't be anxious. Don't be worried. Don't be manipulative. Trust God. Trust is faith in action. And sometimes it does require us moving and doing things with the leading and the guiding of the Holy Spirit. And sometimes it requires us to sit still and trust that the Lord is going to make it happen at the appointed time. God has not forgotten about you. And you're suddenly will come when God is ready for it to come. All you need, all I need, all we need is a suddenly, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Suddenly, God is the God of suddenlies. Be encouraged. Your suddenly is on its way. Be encouraged. Until next time, God bless you in the name of Jesus.